Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part five in the creating a linked list project in C++. So we just finished uh, writing the add node function for our list class here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the delete node function. So the delete node will not be returning any kind of data, so it's going to be a void return type. And uh, we're going to define that from the list class, so we do list colon colon to do that. And I'm just going to select a delete node here from my drop down list because that's the one I want. And if you don't have that option, you can just type this out by hand. And then we're going to do an opening and closing curly brace here and then define the delete node function inside the curly braces. So basically what's going to happen with the delete node is we're going to pass in some data and that will be stored in the variable del data. And then we're going to start at the beginning of the list and just kind of walk our way through the list until we find a node that contains a value equal to the value stored in del data. And when that's the case, then we're just going to go ahead and delete that node and patch up the list. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a node pointer. And I'm going to call that del ptr for del deletion pointer. And I'm going to set it equal to null. So by typing in node ptr here, um, it's the same thing as node star because I've defined it that way in my list.h file. And uh, so you'll need to do that if you haven't done so already. And uh, you can see that in part one of the tutorials if you need to know how to do that. But uh, basically we created a deletion pointer and we're basically pointing it to nothing to start with. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our temp pointer and we're also going to make our cur pointer point to the same thing that the head pointer is pointing to. And basically the head pointer is always going to be set pointing to the beginning of the list. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the current node is going to be the one we want to delete and if it is then we go ahead and delete it and if not we're going to basically advance the current pointer but we're going to have the temporary pointer um, trail the uh, current pointer one step behind as it advances every time so that way we can patch up the list if we're deleting a node somewhere in the middle so the way we do that is we're just going to check for two things. We're going to do a while loop to advance the two pointers. And we want to check to make sure that the current pointer is not pointing to null, basically. So we want to check to make sure that the current pointer is not pointing to null. This will happen when it has passed all the way through the list. and. Uh, if that's the case, we don't need to advance our pointers every more, or anymore. We've traversed the entire list and haven't found the data we're looking for. So if that's the case, then uh, we want to exit this while loop. And then I'm going to do a double and percent because I want another condition for this while loop to run. The other condition I want is I want to make sure that the data that is in the node that the current pointer is pointing to I want to make sure that that is not equal to del data, the data that we're passing into the function. Because if it is, then we need to exit the while loop and uh, delete the node, because we're there already. That's where we want to be. So as long as this is happening, we're going to advance the current and temporary pointers. And the way we keep the temporary pointer one step behind is we just say temp is equal to cur and then uh, basically cur is going to then advance to whatever the next node is by typing in cur equals cur next. So these two lines of code in this while loop will traverse the list until we're at the end, or we've passed through it that is, or until we have found the node containing the data that we want to delete. So once this while loop exits, one of these two conditions basically is false, which means we're either passed through the entire list and didn't find a value, or we found the value we wanted. So after we're there, we basically want to check to see which condition it was. So basically if the current pointer is equal to null, double equals here because we're doing a conditional check, 
So if the current pointer is not pointing to anything, then that means we've passed through the entire list and we didn't find the value we were looking for. So if that's the case, we're just going to do an output statement. So we're gonna say C out and then two left arrows here. And we're just gonna say that del data and then another couple arrows here. And then in quotes, we're gonna say was not in the list and end it with a semicolon. And actually we should end this with a new line by doing a backslash n as well. And uh, basically what's gonna happen here is if we've passed through the entire list and uh, we haven't found the node containing the data we're looking for, then that means that that data wasn't in our list and we'll just get an output statement to the screen that says that basically whatever number we were looking for was not in the list. So then we need to do an else statement. So the else statement would basically take care of the case where this, um, this was the condition basically where the while loop exited, which would mean that uh, we have found the node we need. We have found a node with matching data. So if that is the case, then basically what we're going to do is we're going to set our del pointer or our deletion pointer equal to whatever the current pointer is pointing to. So now the deletion pointer is pointing to the node we want to delete. And uh, the current pointer, we want to point to the next node. We don't want to be have the current pointer be involved with the deletion process. So we're just going to advance the current. So current is going to equal cur next. So that advances our current pointer to the next node. And so now that we've trailed the temporary pointer one step behind every time during this while loop, the temporary pointer is basically pointing to the node that we want to connect to the node that current is pointing to now. And so we're just going to simply put temp arrow next is equal to cur. So that basically patches the list now. And uh, now del pointer is kind of just pointing to its, del pointer is just kind of pointing to this node that we're about to delete. And by the, putting these two lines of code in here, we have basically patched the hole in the list. So now we just simply want to delete the, um, we're going to delete the, whatever node the del pointer is pointing to. So we're just going to do delete del PTR. And uh, then what we can do is we can say, we can do another C out statement here. And we can say the value, and then we'll just, we don't know what the value is because it will change depending on what we pass in. So we'll say the value del data, and then a couple more care arrows here. And then we'll say was not, oh, actually it was in the list, was deleted. So, and then we'll do a backslash n for a new line there. So basically, if this else statement executes, then that means that we found the node we're looking for. We're going to delete that node, and then we're going to we're going to output that we've deleted it, and then we're patching up the list so our list is still connected. So anyway, that uh, pretty much takes care of that function. Um, let's see, there's, I think there's one other thing I wanted to do. I think, yeah, if I want to, this cur equals null statement here, if, uh, basically if we're at the end of the list and we don't have garbage collection in C++, that's something that we have in Java, but in C++ we basically, we're gonna have this del pointer just kind of floating out here if we don't do anything with it, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete the del pointer in this if statement as well. So that way it will kind of just delete that and not take up any more memory as our program continues to run. So anyway, that takes care of the delete node function. So stay tuned. Next I'm going to be just doing a simple print list function. So stay tuned for that. So you guys have an excellent day. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.